Inky ones. I have missed you so, so much. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a beautiful creative week and let's get into today's video. Now, before I introduce this month's Art Addicts Alliance theme, I just want to apologize for being away so long. Um, there's just a lot going on in my personal life right now that has been very difficult and stressful. And I've been struggling with uh, a, a severe, severe depression, um, which I'm trying to work through. So I will be doing my best to get art done because uh, I love sharing with you guys so much. And making videos is something I have really missed. And I really want to get back into art and not just, you know, <laughs> do what I've been doing lately. Um, but with that being said, welcome to the Art Addicts Alliance October theme. Uh, it is a collage challenge with a Halloween theme behind it. And um, yeah, as you can see, mine's not very Halloweenish, as you can see from this. Um, so all the links to the amazing, wonderful artists in our group are linked down below, as is our new poll, where you can vote for what we do next month. Uh, and sadly, we did lose one of our members, and we all, I'm totally going to miss them terribly, but that's that's the way things go sometimes. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm sad about it. But we did manage to fill the spot with the awesome Draw Art Lab. So welcome, 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 Art Lab. Please go give a warm welcome to her, because she is fantastic, and her videos are, are just awesome so please go say hello so this was a fun challenge to do and as you can see, like yeah as you can see mine i think i said that yeah i'm repeating myself i'm so notorious for repeating myself <laughs> anyways mine's not very halloweenish um with so much darkness going on in my life right now i wanted to do something very light-hearted very light uh very pretty so i picked a uh, sweet ghost girl to do so that's why I've blacked out her eyes here is just to give her a bit more ghostly appearance by making her as pale as I possibly could so yeah my biggest infra uh, inspiration uh, for this was Papaya she is a Swedish artist who makes gorgeous gorgeous digital collages and I'm just in love with her work and she was my big inspiration for this because looking at my calendar I have and yeah, and I just felt so inspired to, to do something like that. Um, so I almost went digital with this piece, but I found OBS kind of confusing. It was just like I wasn't familiar with how to use OBS to capture the screen. So I stuck with what I know best, which is traditional. So I worked out uh, several different ideas first. So I cut out some random pieces and, you know, did some work on some other things. And so I was trying to piece them all together to see how I'd wanted them arranged. Um, I kind of, I'm a kind of an image hoarder. So I, I save a lot of magazines and clippings and stuff like that. And so I had lots and lots of material to work with. So first... I did a low-resolution print out of a ball-jointed doll I have been in love with for years. So I printed that out. And so it has a slight dot effect, as you can see if it's up close, um, just to mute things out so I could draw over top of it. And then I used some colored pencils uh, from Faber-Castell to her face to warm her up to um, and black out her irises. And then I went on and used acrylic markers to paint out her hair white. And I wanted more of a solid white, but I added some, you know, just some light streaking in between to make it look like hair. Um, which I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see. <laughs> it's like an idiot. I completely forgot to record that part. And I'm just like, great, great, Erin. That's just lovely <laughs> that I missed doing that. So I am sorry. Um, I then went on and used one of my Alphonse Mucha calendar prints and I picked one with some pretty, uh, muted out roses, which I think would go, went well with her coloring. 
and I cut those out, which was very hard because I love keeping those intact, but uh, I felt like I could sacrifice this one after making um, a scan of it. So there we go. And I cut out all those roses and the rot vines you see here. Um, and I've had this block of wood for ages and ages now, and I didn't know what to do with it. And this was perfect for this project as it mounted nicely. And since it's not paper underneath, the, there was no, the glue couldn't buckle or do anything weird. So it stayed nice and flat. Uh, I next added a gold outline with a gold pen that uh, my mom got for me a while ago. And it's, ooh, ooh, it worked really well. I really like it, the outcome. And I decided to finish off the look with a really cute sticker, which I sort of, as you guys can probably see from here, I um, I played around with for a bit before I, I went with the one that said sweet. Uh, and I've also had those stickers for a long time, just sitting around, because they're scrapbooking stickers. And I thought this would go, go well with it. And I love the overall finished look at this. It came out so well, and um, yeah, I really, really like it. I haven't done collages in a long time, and so this was great a great way to get back into it. And yeah, I, I just love the final outcome. I'm really, 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 really happy with it. So I hope you guys like the final result, and yeah, I hope to get another video out for you guys, if not next week, the week after, as Inktober is here. And I'm super excited to do some art for this, uh, especially this year, because I did it last year and I want to do it this year, and at least do what art I can, and yeah, so I hope to return to that. I'm really excited. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and spending your time with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!